Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this ThinkTech commentary, which we are calling Power for its own sake. Power begets power. It is an opiate for the leader and his followers. When Trump won, a lot of people who might have been reluctant to show support for him became much less reluctant. That's the way power works. It's magnetic. Given this victory, his power has fed on itself and will turn out far greater than before. Make no mistake, even the mainstream media will be drawn in. It won't want to alienate him. It will rather want to have continuing access to his pronouncements. From this, we will get an alternative truth. If democracy dies in darkness, it certainly dies in a world of unhinged propaganda where free speech isn't so free anymore. We will see a flood of lies from him and his loyalists and oligarchs, and that will be our bill of fare going forward. It will be harder to find out what is happening and what he is doing. We will be in the dark. If this sounds like the Iron Curtain of years ago and the way things work in today's Russia, it should. But it goes further than that. We will also see the emergence of a tattletale culture of fear where children report their parents and people report other people they don't like. Where the DOJ becomes a weapon of repression and retribution, where no one wants to talk freely or at all. The military likewise becomes a weapon in his hands, where an order from him, lawful or not, can be used to start a nuclear war, for example, or to quell any domestic protest by his opponents or any resistance to his power. This is frankly terrifying. Those who bought the snake oil from him will be affected along with the rest of us. For now, neither we nor the fragments of the Democratic Party will be able to do much about it. We'll all find out the hard way, with little or no chance of a way back. Sorry, but this is long term. He will have all the levers of power, and there will be nothing available to put the brakes on him. Not the Congress, he owns them, and certainly not the Supreme Court, he owns them too. His power will well exceed what the founders had in mind or anything we may have imagined. He will be the most powerful president in our history, and that will lead the country straight into a dictatorship, which is not at all likely to be benevolent. No thanks to those who voted for him, even when he made it clear that this is what he wanted and what he would do. A country is defined by those it chooses as its leaders, and we have now redefined ours. God save us. Thanks for watching and thanks again for considering the views expressed in this ThinkTech commentary. We'll see you again soon for the next one. Aloha.